has Meghan Markle's quest for fame actually blown her very own quest for fame? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you today. And as ever, thank you so much for joining me on a very chilly, cold, wintry London day. Don't worry, I'm keeping warm. I know you told me off about, I've got, yes, you, you know what I'm saying, thermals. Where would we be without them, eh? <laughs> I know, it's terrible though, isn't it? You don't want to take them off. Even when you're at home, you think, no, I think I'll keep these on a bit more. I know, I think I'll be nailed in these all winter, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's terrible though, but it has suddenly, I know if you are cold and you know, my honestly, my wishes go out to you because it's terrible, isn't it? You know, we're all watching putting the heating on. Things like hot water bottle. I was watching a video, I'm, I'm digressing, I know, but the other day of a woman from the 1970s giving heating tips and she said to wrap your feet in tin foil. I thought that's not a bad idea. Just be careful you don't get near the oven though and cook yourself. Do you know what I mean? Frightening the things you have to do to stay warm, isn't it? Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. It's interesting this because when you think about it, this is very serious in fact, because just a couple of weeks ago now, there was Meghan Markle gracing the red carpet of variety in that beige number with a beautifully applied fake tan. And of course, very expertly applied, it has to be said, makeup. You know, she was gushing about all the things uh, that she and Harry are going to be revealing in the very near future. She couldn't wait, apparently, to tell us all about them uh, because they were so good and they're going to be so positive and she wanted to create things that, you know, people just feel. Well, what they're feeling now is complete disregard and disinterest, you know? And that is now the very big problem looming for her latest agency, the William Morris Endeavour Group. Now, as ever, we have to say allegedly, but a very well-placed source is literally pulling what hair they have left out. Uh, simply because, you know, it's, you know, what, where do you go from here? I mean, that is the internal question they're now basically saying. Yes, there's those deals, they can make some money on them, but now all eyes are literally going to be fairly and squarely on everything that Meghan and Harry release via Netflix or any other streaming giant. No doubt because of the backlash negativity and all the things associated with this tawdry book uh, that they're still refusing at the point of recording to condemn publicly is really going to have a backlash. But according to that source, you see, Meghan herself doesn't believe it's going to affect them in the slightest. And that's totally different. Nothing to do with them. It's their story. They didn't write it, even though previously, as we've said many times, they certainly wrote the other one, but just forgot about it in the court of law. But on a serious note, you have to understand if you're an agent for someone, it's all about how you present your particular image. And right now, the image that they're presenting is not particularly good at all. And the bigger picture on top of all of that is simply this. I feel that unless, of course, Meghan herself comes out and rebuffs these negative stories regarding, of course, that now capped phrase, which we won't say, but you know the one I mean, which is regarding, of course, His Majesty the King and the Princess of Wales. Well, you know, it's just going to play out badly for you. Now, according to that source, even they cannot do damage limitation at this level. Now, well, Meghan may have basked in the glory at Variety, it could be some time before she gets that opportunity again. And even though if she came out right now with Harry and Meghan and said, and even though if she came out right now alongside her husband, Prince Harry, it looks a little too late. It looks like they've been forced to do this. And who truly now would believe them? It's a strange thing, you know, she basically said at the very start of the meeting with the William Morris agency that the reason she felt she and Harry had failed was just a spectacular run of bad luck. But seemingly, as that source pointed out to me, it's bad luck that she keeps achieving, bringing to her own door and basking in. Either way, tough times, but will truly they stick with her. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.